Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with a collective reading. This is just going to be a really quick one. I already pulled some cards. We have the Four of Wands right here. <coughs> Aries energy, we have the High Priestess right here, Virgo Pisces energy, we have the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, Seven of Cups, um, Scorpio energy, and the Four of Swords, Libra energy right here. We also have Trapped, card number 34 in the Oracle deck. We have Honesty, all right, card number 26, and we have card number 13, Summit. I feel like in at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands, which is your overall, and at the top of the deck, which is your challenge, is the Page of Pentacles, okay? So a lot of you guys have been getting the messages to go ahead, go for it, follow your dreams. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are being trapped uh, by not being honest with yourself. Um, you you um, A lot of you, I feel like, are making excuses for not uh, go ahead and chasing your dreams and doing what it is that you want to do. Page of Pentacles could be one of them. Oh, I don't have enough money or I have a little bit of money um, maybe look into a little bit more resources here look the star card is right behind that but whatever it is you're being divinely guided the star card is a card of healing um, it comes after the uh, tower card when everything is broken down to be built back up this means you're going in the right direction you're being divinely led divinely guided and divinely watched so don't worry about do I have enough money do I have enough time do I have enough this do I have enough that just go for it okay the divine will make enough money the divine will make Make enough time the divine will make enough of whatever it is that you're keeping yourself trapped with um staying worried about lack it's almost a lack mindset we have the world card right here so it is time for you to close out that chapter here and uh look six of swords move forward okay six of swords is being divinely guided forward by your spirit guide and we have the hermit card right behind that which is also another card for a spirit guide wisdom truth understanding self-wisdom okay um, inner knowing inner truth look the judgment card right here behind that with archangel michael okay so you guys are definitely going in the right direction with whatever it is that you're doing i feel like a lot of you have some sort of spiritual business uh, we have the page of swords right here with the seven of pentacles yeah don't do too much pocket watching when you want to manifest something like here with this summon card you have the power to do do it um, out of thin air, out of nowhere. So when you're sitting there and you watching and trying to control um, how, when um, your manifestations come in, it's, it's not going to happen the way you want it to. You might even actually end up overlooking your manifestation um, and end up in five of cups energy like I wish I had uh, when it was right there uh, in your face the whole time. So um, I guess that's just a little bit of advice for that. And let's see if they have any last words for you guys. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hermit card here in reverse. Um, wanted to pop out. Let's get a couple more. The Lovers. The Four of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Okay. The Hermit card in reverse to me is indicative of inner knowing, of um, inner wisdom, of getting to know oneself um, on a better level here. Okay. Um, the Ten of Cups right here is wish fulfillment, just like the Seven of Cups is, um, you know, wishing and hoping. And we saw the Star card, which is your wishes coming true. So um, communicate here with the Page of Swords clearly exactly what it is that you want um, based off of what you have learned. The Page of Swords is also. So, you know, uh, studious. Um, so they learn a lot, as does the hermit, and use that wisdom to move about in life here. We have the Four of Cups energy right here. Like I said, with the Five of Cups, don't miss out on your blessing wallowing over what everybody else has in their cup, okay? Um, don't miss the opportunity to move forward, to be free, to break free, and to break free into whatever market or realm or industry it is that you're trying to break uh, free to. We have the Lover's card right here. Make healthy choices. Okay, you have been making healthy choices so far. Don't hesitate, don't backtrack, don't get yourself trapped, and don't keep yourself trapped if you are trapped here. The four of wands can also represent being trapped, enclosed, and caged in your home. Maybe this um, indicates this is something that you have to get out there and go for and do. Um, for some of you, but like I said, don't keep yourself uh, boxed in. Okay, look, the magician manifestations as above, so below. You have all the tools, the tools are right there. All four of the elements, okay? Um, you may have Virgo or Gemini in your chart. Right behind that is the sun. Complete and total happiness here. The emperor taking back control over your life. And we have the devil card right behind that with the ten of pentacles. Like I said, you may have some sort of obsession um, or there could be some sort of addictions that's keeping you trapped. You know, maybe when you do get the money, you kind of 
don't do it what you're supposed to be doing it for or when you do get the blessing like I said some of you either overlook it by thinking about how it was supposed to be something different or what you envisioned it to be and the divine's like no we're gonna do it like this okay it's like an ebb and flow you manifest they give it but they give it how they give it and you accept it okay because they know exactly what's right for you okay but be specific here all right judgment yes they make the final judgment and we have the ace of swords right behind that all right so truth clarity and understanding all right y'all so if nobody told you today i'm gonna tell you i love you peace